yes good evening all good evening people good evening sir yes in the last class we discussed we discussed the sectional formula right so let us go with the questions today question solving look i find the midpoint of the line segment joining the points this this and m is the midpoint of the ab so what he has given this is a line segment called ab this is a line segment called ab and m is the midpoint of that and a has coordinates called 2 comma minus 6 and uh, b has coordinates called 6 comma minus 4 and m is getting divided internally look at it i mean mid midpoint is the case of what midpoint is the internal case here okay so now internal midpoint formula is what this is the formula i told you x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 okay so here x1 is 2 y1 is minus 6 okay x2 is 6 y2 is minus 4 okay so we will be substituting here now X one plus X two, so two plus six by two, comma minus six minus four divided by two. Okay, so ten by two, which gives me five, which gives me minus five. Ten by two, five. All right, so ten not eight by two, which means four. Four comma minus four is the answer. So midpoint of the AB is what? Midpoint of the AB is what? Four comma minus five is the answer. Clear? We need to find out the midpoint of the AB. Sir, Let's why why you wrote minus six six right? Sorry, six I wrote. Ha! Huh. Look at minus here. Y one plus y two man. Look at this correct only. This is x one. This is y one. Y one is minus six, right? So in place of y one, I substituted minus six. Y two is oh, minus four, right? Correct. Yes, sir. Hmm. Very simple. Next, shall we go for the next question? So just a minute, I'm trying to copy it. I'll share this note. Don't worry. Please, you cannot. I'll not give extra time to copy, beta. You have to observe and simultaneously you have to copy. Next, everyone solve this question. This one, fourteenth one, illustration forty one, fourteenth one. Find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the points this one, this one in the ratio three is to one. In the ratio called three is to one, internally, internal ratio, internally. What is the formula for that? Tell me the answer. I'll give two minutes of time. I'll give one and a half minute of the time. Let's see who is going to give the answer. Put your answers in chat box. Don't reveal privately. Don't reveal openly. Please reply me privately. Make it fast.
सर yes tell me guys uh, sir actually i was absent when you were explaining this so can you tell how to do the sum who is this sir it's jashmita sir jashmita see that is the minimum thing that like you know whenever you are absent for any class whenever you are absent for any class you have to go through the recordings that is your you know ultimate responsibility i cannot come and tell you that beta you have to go through that already i have multiple times i have sorry been... checked in youtube and google classroom also sir i didn't find the links actually See, how many times i told beta look at this here how to check that like let me tell you one thing one thing be in line just let uh, one second can you hear me all yes yeah. sir sir see i told how to go through the recordings how to check the notes everything i have detailed explained see many of you are absent many of you the problem is the problem with you all is you don't you do not go through uh, what do you call that you will not go through uh, the google classroom that is the biggest mistake you that is a blunder you make see here this is a google classroom if you open if you go through the no menu actually 9a ct under 9a ct like you, you you will be finding all the required links and everything okay you need not to go through youtube understood my point you need not to go through our channel you need not to go through anywhere if you open google classroom listen to me after this what you have to do just go through the classroom i mean class work and the topic which topic we are going through now coordinate geometry see on the left hand side you can find out the topic name coordinate geometry cbse 9 real numbers polynomials worksheet chapter 1 and all the subjects you will be having so look at this coordinate geometry if you click on that look at this coordinate geometry lecture 2 notes if you click on this you will get lecture 2 notes here lecture 1 notes and you will be having all the lectures under the topic called coordinate geometry lecture recordings look at this here coordinate geometry lecture recordings all right so now uh -huh. if you just if you go through this if you open that look at this i'll show you once one second so you you have gone through here right now if i just click on the link it automatically it will take to the lecture you need not to go through anywhere if you just click on the link automatically you will be your video will be played actually understood my point look at this i'll show it to you look at this clear Yes, sir. Yes. That's it. Understood my point. That is how we can just go through that. If you click on this, your le uh, video lecture one will be played. That's it. Clear? That's it. So make yes, sure sir. that you all are you no know, watching like this. Recording and notes will be in the one thing actually in the topic coordinate geometry. This is the topic name. In in this topic, you will be finding the notes at the same time the recordings. I will not repeat again and again. Make sure that you all are following this. Okay, many of you are absent. I don't know why you are absent today. So this is how we can go through it now. What is the answer of this? I didn't get the answer still. No one has given the answer. What is the answer for this question? Seven comma three is the right answer. Seven comma three is the right answer. Look at this here. Internal division. What was the formula for internal division? M x two plus n x. I'll show it to you. Where is the formula? It is. Look at this here. This was the formula for externally. This is. Sir, I gave the answer seven comma three. Yes, very good. This is the internal division formula. M x two plus n x one divided by m plus. Let's use the same formula. M x two plus n x one divided by m plus n. Okay, comma m y two plus n y one divided by m plus one. Okay, so this is what this is what uh, the formula is given to you, right? So here the ratio whichever given to you here is that is m and n value. 
ओके दिस इज एम कामा एन वैल्यूज एम इज थ्री एन इज वन दिस इज माई एक्स वन दिस इज वाई वन दिस इज एक्स टू दिस इज वाई टू करेक्ट सो आई बी सब्सटीट्यूटिंग एवरी थिंग एट थ्री इन टू एट प्लस एन वैल्यूज वन इन टू एक्स वन इज फोर डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री प्लस वन फोर कामा एम वैल्यू इज थ्री इन टू वाई टू वाई टू इज फाइव प्लस एन वैल्यू इज वन इन टू वाई वन वाई वन इज वॉट माइनस थ्री ओके डिवाइडेड बाई फोर ओके सो नाउ ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस फोर ट्वेंटी एट बाई फोर एंड फिफ्टीन माइनस थ्री ट्वेल्व बाई फोर सो ट्वेंटी एट बाई फोर इज नथिंग बट सेवन ट्वेल्व बाई फोर इज नथिंग बट थ्री सो सेवन का मत थ्री इज आंसर सो दैट इज वॉट यू गेट इयर वेरी सिंपल गाइज इंटरनल डिविजन इज नथिंग बट आई टोल्ड यू हाउ टू रिमेंबर द फॉर्मुला फॉर सपोज दिस इज दिस इज द पॉइंट वन सेकेंड लेट मी से दिस इज द लाइन सेगमेंट कॉल्ड ए बी एंड दिस इज द पॉइंट पी पी इज डिवाइडिंग लाइन सेगमेंट internally how the p is dividing p is dividing ab in two pieces this is the one piece this another piece in the ratio of m and n so in that case i told the formula this is the formula i told you all right perfect so this is how you remember the formula guys now i need to find out ab right how do you find out ab here ab means what ap plus pb we are adding here right adding which means plus i need to use plus here okay and this was the for internally internally whenever you have internally case this is how you must use okay uh, external case what is the external case i'll tell you see here same thing same thing i'll take same thing i'll take but somewhat different look at this here this is a this is b and this is some point p okay this point p is dividing the line segment called ab externally external means outside this ab is here so i need ab here what is ab Sir, ab but midpoint will always lie inside right no 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 midpoint is a different case man midpoint is a different case midpoint is yes, a case it always lie inside it is lies always inside the line segment that is different yes, case sir. midpoint is the case of internal one okay midpoint is the internal case not external one i am talking about external case yes sir okay externally so now ab is equal to ab is equal to what now ap minus bp correct ap minus bp from ap i if i subtract bp i'll get ab that's it so we are subtracting here so that is how i use minus what is that p for p x comma y what is the formula m x2 Minus n x one divided by m minus n. That's it. M y two minus n one y n y y n divided by m minus n. This is the formula we use for external case. All right, people. So very simple it was. Now make sure that you are solving the questions. I'll give you the question. I'll give you this question now. Uh, Every... Can you say the formula for external division? Same thing. Same thing. Whatever the formula you wrote for internal, in place of plus you put minus. That's it. Sir, even on the denominator minus. In the denominator, everywhere check. What I told, look at this here. Here plus, here minus. Look at this here. Even in the denominator. What I told, I just told. Wherever you find plus, you put minus for external case. Okay. So solve this question now. Everyone solve the fifteenth one. Solve this fifteenth one. Okay, what ratio does the point divide the line segment joining the points this and this? So this is internal division, right? You have to think. What ratio does the point divide the line segment? you have to think which means what ratio does the point divide the line segment joining the points this and this we have to find out ratio we have to find yes, out ratio so it's internal or external sir we do not know we have to 
you do not know that is what you have to find out think think what think question itself we have internal external what ratio the point divide the line segment next we have very good concept make it fast last question we need to find out m and n values right point given to you make it fast you check with both you check with external and internal check with external first and internal secondary and check whether you are getting the same answers or not Look at this here. Very good, Harshvika. Very good, beta. Very good. Now, see, I'm not getting the answer from everyone. Anvesha, what happened? Ayesha, Cheshmita, Lalit, Sahasra, Reyasi, Manogna, Vishnu. I'm not getting the answer from any one of you guys. I need an answer from every one of you. Come on, guys. Yes. So first of all. let's take let's get started with the solution one second let me create some space yeah see here what ratio does the point this one divide the line segment joining this and this okay first of all what i do is i'll check i'll check i'll check first of all external internal anything so this is the point given to you right minus 4 comma 6 and he is asking us to find m and n values so m x2 x2 is what 3 so 3m correct 
m x two plus n x one plus n x one. X one is what? N x one is what? Minus six divided by m plus n, comma m y two plus n y one. Okay, divided by m plus n. Now comparing ordered pairs, beta. Look at this. Here. How can you compare here? This x coordinate with x coordinate and y coordinate with y coordinate. I'll be equating. For suppose if I have called a comma b is equal to one comma two, a comma b is ordered pair, beta, and if, and one comma two is also ordered pair. Here axis a, I'm equating with axis a. Ordinate equating with ordinate. So a value is one, b value is two. Correct? B value is two. Yes, sir. So that is how we just uh, now same thing I am doing here. Let Sir, me... I gave the answer, but I got seven is to two. Like... One second, one second. Then minus Sir, four. Is... One second. My three m minus six n divided by m plus n. All right. So what you do here? Three m minus six n is equal to minus four m minus four n. Okay. So minus m. Uh, minus, which means seven m, right? Seven m. Seven m is equal to n. So m is to n. I need, which means two by seven. So two by seven. I got. Look at this. Two by seven is nothing but two is to seven or not? Yes. So that is how I got with internal case. So with external case, what we do, beta? So look at this. M by two. Sorry, m x two plus n x one. M x two plus n x one uh, minus n x one. So here plus. Okay, here minus. Change the sign. That's it. Next, m y two. M y two minus n y one. Here minus, so here minus. Okay, then what you are going to get? Yes, look at this guy. He has not given. He has not given anything. You take anything, Rababu. You take either internal or whenever he has not given something like that, you take both the things. I tried with the internal case. My answer is matching. Now I am trying with external case. Sorry, when I. Understood my point. Actually, very... it won't match, sir. One second, let's see. It will be matching. Mm. So multiply here now. Three m plus six n is equal to minus four m plus four n. Minus four m plus four n. So seven m is equal to minus two n. Correct. All right. Hmm. Now look at this. M by n we need. So minus two by seven I got. Still correct. Check carlo. See all you have to check here is even answer is matching actually. We have to do calculations properly. That's it. Look at this, beta. M. What was the formula? M x two minus n x one divided by M minus n. This was the formula, right? Okay. So M x two. What is M x two? Three. Ah, uh, so x two is three, right? One second. Let me write here x one y one. This is x one. This is y one. This is x two. This is y two. Okay. So it will be very easy for you to understand now. M x two is what? So three M minus n x one. So minus into minus plus. So six plus six n. Divided by m minus n, very good. M y two, m y two is what? M y two minus eight m, n y one, y one is what? Ten, so minus ten. Divided by n. So what I do here is now eight m minus ten n divided by m minus n is equal to six. Anything, this is equal to this or this is equal to this. Anything you compare, the the answer, the ratio will be. Yes, the sir. Okay, so minus eight m. Minus 10 n is equal to 6 m minus 6 n. Okay, so 14 m beta 
एंड माइनस फोर एन ओके सो एम बाई एन इज वॉट अगेन आई एम गेटिंग द सेम आंसर एम बाई एन इज वॉट टू बाई सेवन Sir, but for me negative did not come. So like I tried it minus four and three. Um, minus. Where you didn't get negative? Where you didn't get negative? Sir, I'm getting minus seven. Um, is equal to two one. Which one? In external or internal one? Sir, external sir. External. What you are getting? Ah, uh, here look at this here. Let if you take a external case, that might be the answer. If you take internal case. This this will be the answer. Look at this here. He has taken beta. Look at this here. Both are both are correct. In fact, both are correct. Why? Because he has he has asked us to find the ratio. Okay. If two is to seven is the ratio when it divides internally, and uh, minus two is to seven when it divides externally. If you check, if you want, same thing I am getting. Look at this here. Is equal to minus four, right? So three m plus six n is equal to minus four m. Plus four n, okay. So seven m is equal to minus two n. So m by n is what? Minus two by seven. So when this is external ratio, when you take externally better, this is the ratio. When you take internally, this is the ratio. All right. Understood my point. Anything okay, is correct. Sir. You have to mention. Okay, you have to mention that externally or internally. See, he has oh, clearly okay. he has clearly mentioned. He has clearly mentioned. Let Four comma six minus four comma six. So we are here. He, he, he has clearly mentioned that let minus four comma six divide a b internally. Then he has used plus. If you are taking externally minus two comma seven, nothing wrong with that. Okay, but the answer is right only. Any doubt, guys? If you want to copy, you copy. Make it fast. Sir, how will we know if we have to use internal or external division? Who's that? Hello. Sir, Jashmita sir. Jashmita, just now I just now I said you use any internal beta, you use any sectional formula. Either you use internal or external. The answer is correct. If you use internally, I'm getting two is to seven. If I am getting, if I am using externally, my answer is two minus two comma seven. He has not mentioned whether it's internal or external. You may take anything okay, here. Sir. Clear. Okay. But Understood. you have to mention it properly. What sectional formula you are using? Whether internal, internally or externally? Which one you are using? You have to mention it properly. Okay, beta. So that is the condition. That is the answer. Now centroid formula, centroid of a triangle. Very very important. Let x1 comma y1, x2 comma y2, x3 comma y3 are the three points. I mean three vertices of any triangle. Then the centroid is the point of intersection of the medians. The point of intersection of the medians is nothing but beta. Median is nothing but if I just draw, look at this. If I draw a line segment from A to the opposite side, what is the opposite side to A here? BC, right? BC is the opposite side to whom? To A. Listen to me properly. Okay, now to B, who is the opposite one? AC is the opposite side, right? So I'll draw like this. Okay, now to C, who is the opposite one? Who is the opposite guy? AB. AB. Right. Now I'll draw a median now. Okay. Okay. This point of intersection. Okay, three medians are intersecting at one point, right? That point is what called as centroid. Very simple. Got it? Very simple. Need that to know by heart the definition. You just understand the you know diagram. That too. clear. People, is it clear with everyone? Yes, sir. So, sir, sir, G will be in the middle, right? G uh, is G. the centroid. We denote centroid with the G beta. We denote centroid with the G. That's it. Understood, G? Clear. Yes. Yes, sir. So. that line segment joining the midpoint of the side and the opposite vertex is called as median of the triangle centroid divides the median in the ratio this one this is this is the standard one what is the one what is the standard result here centroid divides the median in the ratio what this centroid beta divides the median in the ratio what 2 is to 1 okay so again you will be learning in class 
don't worry again we'll be learning in triangles lesson but in fact you just we are learning here so let us learn no problem centroid the coordinates of a centroid is what sir we found a centroid called g what are the coordinates of that we will be having coordinates for everyone right but g centroid is also a point here right here centroid is also a point yes a is a point b is a point c is a point in fact we are calling them as vertex i mean vertices of a triangle now here g also will be having a point right what is that point that point is look at this x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 this is my x coordinate this is my y coordinate okay y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 that is the coordinates of that is the that is the coordinate of what centroid called g hope it is clear with everyone next any doubt guys understood right what is centroid here you want scroll up i just want to take a screenshot like don't take screenshot lalit don't take screenshot those who are taking screenshot i'll kill you guys i'll come your home and i'll give you in the night i'll kill you okay i'm going to i'm going to kill you everyone those who are taking screenshots okay don't take screenshots i said either you copy now simultaneously or you copy afterwards but don't take screenshots i know that if you are taking screenshot you lose somewhere and you will be missing your notes before the exams so that should not happen i said okay and guys whatever the topic we are whatever the topic uh, like you know uh, we are going through now based on this topic only we will be having exam tomorrow clear okay now in center in center of a triangle okay in center of a triangle what is in center of a triangle very simple look at this here the coordinates of the in center the coordinates of the intersection in center is nothing but what intersection of intersection point of the angle bisector intersection point of the angle bisector you may not understand what is bisector what you may not understand all this terminology beta you will be again learning in triangles lesson i'm saying saying right in a lesson called triangles you will be learning all this again so do not worry beta so now you just have an idea what is what what is in center what is you know centroid have an idea again you will be learning all this terminologies okay he has given all this in uh, coordinate geometry but let's learn that okay so of a triangle whose vertices this 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 are what a x1 plus a b x2 plus c x3 by a plus b plus c a y1 plus b y2 plus c y3 divided by a plus b plus c okay this is what the formula for in center and in center is what here a comma b comma c are the lengths of the sides bc ca and ab beta look at this here this is in center i am denoting it i okay this is in center of a what triangle how we are saying that look at this here this is a triangle i took okay this is a triangle i took now i have drawn a circle here i have i have taken the center of the circle i have drawn the look at this angle bisectors okay these are our angle bisectors okay angle bisector is not one second one second okay what do you mean by that look at this here exactly it comes from the middle beta it divides in the equal ratio it divides in equal parts get my point all right so like this point of intersection of all this point of intersection of c is like the midpoint of ab exactly c is the midpoint of ab look at this c is the midpoint of ab b is the midpoint of ac and uh, you say b c is the midpoint of so we can also use uh, uh, centroid formula here right no no that is different that is different this in center that is centroid centroid was centroid was the different look at this what was the centroid here this what was the, the lines i mean uh, 
here let me there is this one second one second ha ah, point of intersection of the median median is nothing but what beta look at this here yes sir that is was the point of intersection of the median but here in center is nothing but intersection point of the angle bisector angle bisector is nothing but which divides in equal ratio look at it sir equal part from a i am just drawing a line segment which divides the vertex what is as a in a equal part like this okay if i teach in a brief also you will not understand yes sir okay? okay you will be again learning in triangles lesson do not worry at all so you just have an idea what we are going to write now okay so this is the point of this is the point where i can say that is in center i am denoting it i correct now now this ab side is c b a side is a bc side is a ac side is b okay a b c are what length of the sides of the triangle given to you okay people understood my point what is small a here small a is the side of the length of the side of bc small b is the side of a length of the side of ac small c is the side of i mean length of the side of ab like that understood my point so that is what he has given the formula for that is ax1 plus bx2 plus cx3 by a plus b plus c okay now here note what is the note in center divide the angle bisector in the ratio b plus c is to a c plus is c plus a is to b a plus b is to c okay what is that in center divides the line segment in these ratios look at this b plus c is to a c plus is to b a plus b is to c okay here b plus c i am writing which one is missing a is missing so a is to a c plus a i am writing which is missing here b is missing so b a plus b which is missing c is missing so i am writing here okay all right getting my point understood children one second people be in line sir can you scroll up once i need to write the formula yes sir i noted that next in yes guys look at this here in center divides the angle bisector in the ratio of this one this one and this one one second yes so ortho center centroid circum center are always collinear and centroid divides line joining ortho center circum center in the ratio called 2 is to 1 respectively in an isosceles triangle centroid called g ortho center called o in center called i circum center called c lie on the same line and in an equilateral triangle all these four points coincide sir we didn't even understand anything centroid we learned in center we learned what about ortho center and circum center yes one second so can you explain all the three points again definitely definitely 
see you will not and you will not understand all this without learning the triangle beta so straight away if i teach you don't understand anything you do one thing you will be using all these again triangles lesson so if i teach also you are like you know you will be confusing so i would not uh, i would not uh, you know suggest you to learn all this now but have an idea okay what is uh, uh, ortho center Sir, I can tomorrow test this one. Come right. Yes, this will not come. In fact, coordinate geometry means you will be uh, like you will be getting uh, the related to your entirety related to R D Sharma. This is advanced visual learning. Okay, getting my point? Yes, sir. Ah, R to center is nothing but look at this. Sir. First of all, let me draw a diagram here. Like this is A, this is B, this is C. Ortho center is nothing but beta. Ortho center is nothing but the point where all the heights, all the all the three altitudes of a triangle cut or intersect each other. For suppose look at this here. This is the one. This is let's say this is E. Let's say this is F. Let's say this is G. Okay. Now, ortho center is what is the point where all the three altitudes. Altitude means height. Okay, cut or intersect. This is one height here. This is one height. This is another height. This is another height. They are cutting or intersecting at one point. That is what ortho center. If there 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 will be a small difference between uh, like each and every one. So you just have an idea what is uh, ortho center, what is centroid, what is in center. Everything you'll be learning later. Don't worry. Getting my point. Next, I'll circumcenter. One second, circumcenter means what now? This is a this is a triangle. Let me draw a triangle. This is a triangle, beta. Okay, triangle is not, but uh, circumcenter is nothing but all the perpendicular. Uh, like I is in inter in center. One second, Lalit. I'll I'll tell you. I'll give a chance to everyone. Please wait. Circum center is nothing but beta. All where the point where all the perpendicular bisector will meet. Sir, what is perpendicular bisector again? That is again there is a separate concept for that. So I am requesting you all. So you just have an idea what is what. Again, you will be learning everything. He has given in you know, advanced way. So ortho center you just I just explained you. Centroid is explained you. Circum center is nothing but all the perpendicular bisector will meet. The point where all the perpendicular bisector will meet. Perpendicular bisector means what? For suppose, this is A, this is B, this is C. Okay, perpendicular bisector is nothing but beta. This is one. Uh, if I take a mid midpoint over here, look at this here. If I draw a line like this, this is a perpendicular. I hope you all correct. I hope you all aware of this. If I teach everything, but I'm sure you know. I, I'm sure you, it is not required for you now. But in fact, he has given all this, so we will learn all this. So this is what making 90 degrees now. This is making 90 degrees or not? Okay, let's say this is another point, and now let from this, this is making another point here, and uh, from this you will be drawing one more like this. This is making ninety degrees. Okay, this is what called as perpendicular bisector. Can you see perpendicular is nothing but beta. This is perpendicular. It is making ninety degrees. This is the this is how you draw perpendicular of two lines. Okay, so if I just take All this perpendicular bisector. This is what called as perpendicular bisector, beta. Okay. So if I take all this perpendicular bisector are matching at one point, intersecting at one point, meeting at one point, that is what called as circumcenter. Understood my point? Correct. Circumcenter is nothing but the point, the point where the perpendicular bisector of a sides of a particular triangle intersect. Okay. Look at this here. Now let me tell you one thing here, beta. This is one. This orange color is the red. This orange color one. There is a perpendicular bisector of what? The side called BC. Understood my point? Now let me tell you one more uh, thing here. Now this black uh, black color line is the red. That is a perpendicular of perpendicular bisector of whom? Side called AC. All right. Now this blue color line is the red. This blue color. This is a perpendicular bisector of whom? Side called AB. Understood my point? 
that is a perpendicular bisector of side called ab that black color is a perpendicular bisector of ac that you know orange color is a perpendicular bisector of what bc so all this perpendicular bisector are intersecting at one point this blue color point that is what called as circumcenter getting my point hello understood or not so you just have an idea beta that's it orthocentroid orthocenter intercenter circumcenter lie on the same line in an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle is nothing but water babu all sides will be equal so they will be lying all this you know centroid orthocenter in center circumcenter they will be lying in a same line where same line and in an equilateral triangle all these four points coincide all right let me tell you one thing one second guys isosceles triangle is nothing but what two sides will be equal in isosceles they will be lying on the same line and in equilateral triangle all these four points will be coincide that's it very simple now you got an idea isosceles triangle in isosceles triangle what happens this centroid and uh, this uh, orthocenter and in center circumcenter they will be lying on the same line and uh, in an equilateral triangle what happens all these four points will coincide okay all these four points will coincide so that is the fact you need to understand here okay now look at this here orthocenter centroid circumcenter okay are Sir, always orthos, orthocenter ah huh? so can you explain orthocenter again orthocenter is nothing but the point where all the altitudes meet of a triangle altitudes altitude means heights all these heights are meeting at a one point right look at this all these points are um, you know all these heights are meeting at one point that is um, that is what called as orthocenter centroid means centroid means look at the point of intersection of all the medians okay now and in center is nothing but what point of intersection of all the angle bisectors okay very simple so now the second third point hope you got a clarity second point look at this here orthocenter means o centroid means g circumcenter means c this ogc are always collinear collinear means they will be always lying on the same line beta understood my point this whom orthocenter yes, centroid and c ogc they will be lying on the same line collinear and centroid centroid means what i told just now centroid means what this, this is what the centroid let me show you look at it this is centroid this is a point of intersection of all the medians okay that centroid is what that centroid divides the line segment that centroid divides the line joining orthocenter and circumcenter in the ratio called 2 is to 1 already we learned that okay ha huh. you just have an idea again i am saying again we learn in center divides the angle bisector in the ratio called this one who oh. in center is dividing the angle bisector in the ratio called b plus c is to a c plus c is to b a plus b is to c okay so this is what the basic idea you must have okay again i will explain everything don't worry in when we started the new lesson you just have an idea now find the coordinates find the coordinates centroid you find out in center you find out of a triangle whose vertices are given to you are babu same formula are babu look at this here this is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 given to you x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 centroid formula is what this is the formula for centroid everything substitute will get the answer is there any difficulty is there any difficulty you have very simple guys you understood or not understood centroid how to find out centroid hello hello fine you understood or not guys any doubts children yes guys one second i got disconnected yeah now centroid you understood right how to find out centroid you will be finding centroid very easily am i correct 
Yes, right? sir, 8 plus 8 plus 0 by 3. Yeah, centroid is very easy. So you will be finding centroid very easily. Now let's find out in center by using the coordinates. How to find out in center? What is the formula for in center, beta? What is the formula for in center? A x one plus B x two. A x one. One second, I'll write here. A x one plus B x two plus C x three by A plus B plus C and A Y one plus B Y two plus C Y three divided by A plus B plus C. Okay. Okay. This is what the formula which we have for in center. What is A B C here? What is small a, small b, small c? Okay. Small a, small b, small c is what? But a is the the side called BC. Okay, a is what length of the BC. What is BC here? AC. What is C here? BA or AB. So I like is it a half of BC? No, no, no. A small a is distance. I mean length of the BC, Rababu. Length of the BC. How to find out length of the BC? You have to use distance between two point formula. Are Babu, look at this here. This is my A. This is my B. This is my C. Correct. Now I need what? Beta here, small A. For finding small A, what I need? This BC. The length of the BC. If I how to find out length of the BC? Guys, how to find out length of the BC? In applications of distance between two points formula, we learned distance between BC is what? Using the formula called x two minus x one all square plus y two minus y one all square. This is the formula I will be using to find out the length of the BC. Length of the BC is nothing but small a. Understood my point? Hello, children, understood? Yes, sir, understood. Arey Babu, B coordinates given to you, C coordinates given to you. Can't you substitute B coordinates and C coordinates in this formula and find out the length of BC? Very simple, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Then you will be getting a value, beta. That is how you get a value. A value you got to be like that. Now, similarly, I'll be finding b value. How to find out small b value? Distance between distance between a and c. What is the formula again? Again, this is the formula I'll be using. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, what is distance between a b? How to find out small c value? Distance between a b. Okay. By using the same formula again. Understood my point? Clear. After finding small a, small b, small c, I'll be substituting in this formula. That's it. You have x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3 value, and you found small a, small b, small c values. If you substitute here, you will be getting this answer. That's it, guys. I'll give this as a homework. You please go through this. You copy this, and the next uh, like few more questions we will solve in the next class. All right, children. Have a nice day. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks. Yes sir thank you sir bye